Good afternoon, Joseph. Thank you very much for joining us. Welcome. Now, you're here with a very interesting uh, new concept in supply chain planning. I was hoping you might be able to tell us a little bit more about it. Actually, it's uh, now my third time here uh, on the conference, Logic Pharma, presenting this new approach, which we from Camelot believe is a paradigm change in managing the supply chains end to end on a lean way on one side, but on the other side, uh, reflecting the today nowadays requirements of agile, adaptable uh, supply chains in pharma as we have today. So what is it about it then that's so particularly different? Perhaps talk us through the, the, the process. Actually, it's best understood if we look a little bit in the history. Um, we have in the supply chain uh, various approaches and concepts. Uh, we worked in our organizations starting with the MRP2 approach nearly 25 years ago and then moved uh, now 15 years ago with advanced planning and supply chain planning approaches. Uh, both of these approaches are based on forecast based push models um, which reflects the unflexibility and the high inventories we have today in pharma. So the approach is now to change the planning philosophy completely. That's why we call it a paradigm change. Change it more to a pull-based, uh, consumption-based planning approach. It sounds very familiar to people from the automotive, but managing an end-to-end pharma supply chain, it's new in this way. So it, it's based on managing the increased volatility of the markets, not only through the capacities, which we try to manage with so-called production wheels, written wheels, approaches, but also managing through active, dynamic target setting in our end-to-end -end inventory stocks. So you're actually able to change your targets as you go along to suit the, the current market conditions? That's what it's for, because we are in now in a volatile, changing, quickly changing adaptable uh, market environments. Emerging markets, we talked about it, and we require different approaches. Smaller uh, campaigns, smaller product uh, lots we have to produce and have to be very quickly to the new changing in the market regarding tendering business, regarding the small, um, small packs we have to produce. Therefore, we have to adapt it into our supply chain organization. How to adapt it? We're different ways. We are bringing here as a Camelot the uh, lean planning approach. Lean planning based on tact, based on synchronization, which is consumption based, which is agile, pull based, and this brings the advantage on the one side in the uh, adaptiveness and agility, but on the other side, it brings also the advantage in the working capital. The major topic we saw in various of of presentations during this conference, it's still remaining the top target, cost optimized, uh, uh, cost effective supply chains. I can imagine, as it sounds a brilliant concept, but one thing uh, I've been intrigued to know is how people get to the, 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 the top end management buy-in uh, from around the business, because it must be very difficult for people to, to explain how you go about budgeting something like this, when your targets are consistently yeah. changing, you're yeah. never quite 100% sure how things will change one point to the next. How do you then get people convinced? Of, how do you sell this into businesses as a concept? You touched really uh, the point, which is the hardest uh, topic of the implementation of such a new approach. Innovations are always difficult to get it across into the organization. The concept is simple. It's so simple, it's very quickly explained. But bringing it into the organization end to end, uh, getting the confidence, commitment to it, it's a huge effort we have to do. So therefore, we from Camelot starting uh, the mobilization, the internal mobilization in various ways with uh, concepts presentations, with, with projects uh, uh, we already launched with some exp experiences made already in the industry, but also creating a um, shared knowledge base which we also support to explain the concept, to uh, explain the benefits of it on our uh, internet side, uh, giving everybody the access to it, mobilizing the concept. And we have uh, already um, pharma companies going this way. Uh, going this way, uh, it means we're moved into this lean planning uh, program with 
organization with planning approaches, establishing even new capabilities in the organization for this lean management. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. It's been genuinely a really exciting idea. And I mean, obviously people will want, hopefully want to know more about it. I know you were telling me there's a, an excellent uh, explanatory video that really breaks down the process. Uh, where can they go to watch that video? Where's a open uh, site which is called www.rittenwheel.com and we can find all the ideas about lean planning, tech-based planning, consumption-based planning based on written wheels with some videos, explanations, benefit explanations and I encourage everybody to have a look on it and get engaged and motivated for the next change. Fantastic, so that was www.rhythm-wheel.com. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You're welcome.